Hey you guys, I got a stack of comics here, and of course I got a beer I'm very excited to talk about, called Enter Night. So let's get the show on the road. Alright, so uh, this beer is called Enter Night. It's a collaborative beer with Metallica and Arrogant Bastard Ale. And it's a, it's a Pilsner. And if you wanted to know what the difference is between a Pilsner and a Lager, a Pilsner is a Lager. It's just a subset of a Lager. And it derives its name from the Czech Republic city Pils. I think that's right. <clears throat> so hence the name Pilsner. Um, have you guys had Arrogant Bastard Ale? I think I have at some point, but can't recall off the top of my head. Um, but it's a fairly popular craft brew company out of Escondido, California, in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, this is supposed to be a hoppy, a hoppy Pilsner, which uh, has definitely got me curious. And... Um, Where's the ABV, y'all? Okay, 5.7 ABV. And uh, <laughs> this descriptor on the back, it's, it's kind of funny. It's on. It's time to get started. To crank things up. To get loud. That thumping you feel in your chest isn't your imagination. It's your heart. It's life. It's life, y'all. It's the rockin' tunes. It's the rockin' tunes. It's your inspiration wanting to break out. It ain't gonna sit there waiting, so motherfucking grab it. It says it. It says it right there, y'all. So that's enough. Let's get to sipping, huh? On my hoppy pilsner. Fairly scentless. Oh my, it's nice. On the front end, it tastes like a Pilsner, but then as you uh, swallow it, you, you get that, that hoppy flavor. And it's cool. It's, um, it, it's definitely not an IPA, but it is reminiscent of it. So uh, props to uh, Arrogant Bastard Ale and, well, Metallica on this... Uh, on this collaboration. Uh, you guys like Metallica at all? I like the, four, four, the, the first four records. Uh, Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and, and Justice For All. Just cause they were blurring the lines between like hardcore and metal, and then they got a little proggy on uh, Justice For All. And then you, uh, well, of course, they started transitioning to all these other subgenres: death metal, sludge metal, grindcore, blah blah blah, all that. But um, you know, give it for give it up for early Metallica. They definitely were innovators. So mm, this is a good beer. I'm gonna give it five out of six beer cans. This is a ballsy beer, y'all. I think it's good. I gain up. <laughs> oh! Picked a winner right here. Uh, Donny Cates Thor. Now, I am not the biggest Donny Cates fan. I mean, a lot of y'all love Donny Cates. Um, I think he's just okay. I read that in Human's book. And did he do uh, Silver Surfer Black? I think he did. Did he? <laughs> Need to look that up. But uh, I'm actually, I'm really curious what he, he does with this. Um, I'm a big Thor fan. I really liked what Jason Aaron did. And this will probably be the first thing I read. Okay, yeah. Um, if you watched me last week, I said that uh, I left a lot of my books in the, in the, in the box, in the pool, to buy... Uh, this week because uh, two weeks ago the uh, the books were so heavy so I just split it up Justice League 38 you've heard me talk about Justice League before uh, 
I think it's a strong title. Uh, the only I, I've read all of it except for that horrible Hawk World arc. Um, I do worry. Well, I don't worry, but I, I think it's obvious that uh, you know if someone were to just pick this up, that it is so deep and versed into the DC multiverse that they wouldn't know what the hell is going on. But to the initiated, it's been a good read. Uh, Harley Quinn 69 and uh, this reminds me there was some chatter on uh, Fire Guy Ryan's uh, IG this morning talking about the merits of the, the DC Universe uh, Harley Quinn uh, the DCU app uh, that, that Harley Quinn uh, series which has been excellent it's very funny uh, it's R-rated with lots of funny cursing not that you have to curse to be funny, but it's a good show. It's a good show. I recommend it. Check it out. Okay, this is another one from two weeks ago. This is Criminal. Criminal number 11. Um, this made my year-end list. It's just a solid re re read from uh, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Everything they do is, is, is solid. X-Force, um, this is really, I think, the only X-Force title I'm going to stick with. Uh, I know it's not by Hickman, but it definitely is following his outline with all the charts and, and things of that nature. Um, I was reading X-Men for a while, but I like this better. I've also heard Marauders is really good, but um, I'm not buying all the X-Titles just because I don't want to. And I like X-Force, so I'm sticking with it, y'all. Um, and... Uh, Hawkeye Freefall, excuse me, um, clerk at the LCS recommended this. He's like, Dan, do you like Hawkeye? I was like, I don't dislike Hawkeye, and I'm always looking for interesting stuff, and he said he recommended it, so I picked it up. Don't have that much to read. Not all that much to read this week, so I picked it up. Hawkeye. Hawkeye Freefall. Hawkeye Freefall, y'all. Now, um, I have talked about Harleen before. I've only read the first issue. This is three issues, right? So I guess I wanted to finish the run. I haven't read the second issue. I grudgingly like the first one. <sighs> I like Harley Quinn. Um, but did we really need another origin story? I don't think we did. But people are digging this, so whatever. And that leads into another Harley Quinn. Quinn uh, DCU Black Label book. Now this one is cool. Um, this follows into like the crime detective noir type stuff uh, where Harley is working with the Gotham Police Department. And it's, in it's interesting. I really enjoyed the first issue. So we'll check this out. So, uh, you know, that's it. 2020. Here we come, and it's time to end the night!